friends, welcome back to Abby's World. So today I'm with a very special guest, Mommy. Hi. And we're going to teach you guys how to draw a Christmas tree. So Christmas is actually a couple weeks away, so we want to teach you guys how to draw this. This can also be a gift for someone. You draw it for them for Christmas. So let's get started on how to do it. So you'll just need some paper and pen. Got so it. we're using these pens. You can also use a pencil or a sharpie or some kind of marker, but we're using pens at the moment. Now let's start with our drawing. Okay, so the first step is you're gonna wanna draw a triangle, but actually this time when you're drawing it, you don't wanna put the line on the bottom. You just wanna draw two lines that connect. Now, when you're done with that, you're just going to draw a line at the bottom, but don't totally connect it to the other line. Then repeat the step for the other side. Now, you're going to draw a line coming out of both of the lines you just drew. Kind of looking like an arrow. After that, you want to do the same thing you did with the first triangle. And do the same, but this time make it even bigger. Let's check on Mommy. <laughs> I think it's so cool. Thanks. Now once you have that, you're going to draw two lines at the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then at the bottom of that, draw a line connecting them. You can see how the tree is coming and forming. Now... To make it a real Christmas tree, we're missing something. The ornaments and the decorations, Mommy. So the hmm. first thing we're going to do is I'm going to draw a strand of lights coming, going down from the tree. So we're just going to draw a line at the top and keep doing that. And right now it's not looking like anything, but it will eventually because we're going to keep drawing the lights. Now just keep doing that until you get to the very bottom. After that, you want to draw these raindrop kind of shapes. So just keep doing that. So now we've done our lights. So now we do that, we're just going to draw a few ornaments. To do this, you can make really whatever shape you want, like a star or a heart, really whatever. But we're going to do kind of a bunch. I'm going to draw some circles and then some stars and stuff. So the first thing you want to do in order to draw a circle ornament is you're just going to want to draw a hook. It's kind of like an upside down J to me. Then after that, attach to the hook a circle. This looks like an apple so much. And then I'm just going to draw some shadows. Now I'm going to draw my design. That's my first ornament. Now I'm going to keep repeating the process with different designs and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Okie dokie. So this is all the ornaments I have. So basically this is mine. And here's mommy's. Mine's a fat tree. <laughs> I love it. There's a lot of like cool ornaments. They're super pretty. Oh, I really like drawing the teardrop lights. That was really fun. Yeah, but now you're probably thinking, oh, it's super cool, and I can definitely see the tree. Yeah. We're not done yet. What do you think we have to do next, Mommy? Maybe way up high. A way up high star or angel. We usually put an angel on our tree, so it depends on what you want to do. So we're going to do a tutorial on both. So basically, so on Mommy's tree, we're going to teach you guys how to draw a star. And then on my tree, we're going to teach you how to draw an angel. So let's go. This is how I draw a star. First you draw a line, like, mm -hmm. kind of like you're starting the tree. Yeah. And then, okay, so this star might be a little yeah. like my tree. And then you go like this out to the sides. So it's kind of an elf hat. Okay, and then you draw another one like this, and then another one like this on the bottom. That's so cool! Thank you! It's my own version of a star. Now, let's learn how to draw an angel. So for this, 
The first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna draw a circle, kind of like you did with the ornaments. I'm gonna go like this for my hair for her. Then after that, I'm just gonna draw two lines at the bottom of her face. Then I'm gonna connect them with a curvy line. Then I'm gonna draw two lines, go not going through her hair, but just going like it's like the hair is covering it. And then go down like she's wearing a dress. And then I'm going to draw her hands. And then I'm going to draw, I just draw two lines connect to each other. And then draw ovals for the fingers. So now I'm going to take the bottom of her dress and I'm going to go through it like her legs. <clears throat> I'm kind of aiming for like she's on top sitting on the Christmas tree. I'm going to give her some socks, the tights, and then after that, I'm just going to draw her some nice shoes. So to do this, I just draw a lowercase a, and it makes high heels. It's really strange, but to me, it looks all like high heels, just a lowercase a, you know? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to draw her halo, which this is a really important part of the angel. So you're just going to draw an oval. Now I'm going to draw a face. So now I'm just going to draw two little dots in her face for the eyes, and then a line for her mouth, and she's smiling. And that's how you draw a Christmas angel. Now that we have our tree done, do you want to get started and do some presents under it? Yes, I love. So for Christmas, I really want a puppy. Because I don't have a pet and I really want a puppy because they're just so tiny and cute. So I'm going to be drawing a puppy and you guys can draw whatever. We're just going to teach you how to draw the box base and stuff. So let's get started and let's start drawing. It can be an open box or a closed box, right? Yeah. First of all, just to, so just to give you an idea of what the box would look like closed, I'm going to first draw a present of the, like a Christmas box yes. so that you can see that. So here it goes. First I draw a square. Then sometimes I just like to draw some ribbon and I do this like a big cross that's open or maybe like a T across the whole present so that it's got two lines and it just looks like like a big long T, basically. And then after that, sometimes I like to do a little bit of a bow on top. Like you don't have to, and there's all different kinds of bows. So be a big bow like this. That kind of looks like a ball or a sunflower. Hmm, kind of looks like I have a flower on top of the present. But so yeah, that's my first present. You can be as creative as you want to be with the bows. And you can actually make wrapping paper designs too. Now that we have a closed one, why don't we draw an open one? So in order to do this, you're going to draw a square or rectangle, whatever shape you want your present to be. Then you're going to draw the ribbon. Then to that, you're just going to draw a line right by it and then Draw a tiny, tiny line right there beside it. Do the same for the other side. And then like you did with the first line you did to draw leaning on that, you're just going to connect it to the tiny lines. Another one. So then you can go and draw a bow tie on the cap. And yeah, that is how I draw my open present boxes. Okay, so we finished our extra stuff. And this is how much mine just turned out. First I drew the Christmas tree with the ornaments all on them. And I kind of went the same with all the ornaments for consistency. And then I put a Christmas star on the top of the tree. Then what I did is I decided to put closed presents under the tree on this side so that we have some variety there. But then I did the presents that were already opened. And they are on the other side, a little toy car and a gingerbread man. And then I decided to do a big open window space so that you could see all the snow coming through the window. And a cozy fire right here in the front with a chair beside it. And this is supposed to be, it might look like a palm tree, but it's supposed to be a poinsettia, which is a Christmas thing. And that's my drawing. Mine has presents, like some open and some closed, and a train. 
and a puppy and stuff for the puppy. And over here, there's Mona Lisa. I tried to recreate the painting, so it's like they have a copy of the painting in their house. And then over here's a window. And over here's a door somewhere. And then the fireplace, Mommy drew. She gave me the idea. I made a coffee table, some food. And then over here, there's two chairs. So that's my place. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe and like for more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bye. It was fun.